everybody, welcome back to another episode of Grim Soul Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, guys. Absolutely fantastic day of the most amazing Friday. And today we are going after the long fabled and sought after horse. That is right, we got a chance over here at the broken cart getting to respawn after the tragedy of last episode. Come on, horse, accept my taming. Please get out of here, wolf. Are you kidding me? Dude, dude, I swear, if that horse. Wolf, we're about to have mad beef if that horse just escaped because of you. Dude, I'm not see- Bruh. Bruh. Oh dear God, that was such a tragedy, man. Oh my God. So this time we're gonna be taking a little bit of a different approach to try and tame this horse from what some of you guys were saying. The best approach to doing this is actually to clear out the entirety of the zone. Don't even risk it because what happens is if for any reason the horse like cancels your tame and starts running away, it will actually like always be guaranteed to run out the map or something from what you guys are saying. So it's highly recommended from what it's looking like that we wanna clear out the map and take it slowly over here at the broken card. And then hopefully we're gonna be walking away with that branch new horse that we will be leveling up that will be unlocking more storage slots and that will be able to ta transport us where our legs might not especially once we level it up enough that horse will be able to take us across the river when we make it a war horse or no a hardy horse and then we can even start uh running around the map with it eventually that is when the go one is gonna get dope because once it is i believe yeah once it gets its war horse status which is the final one we will be able to in some way shape form or fashion ride it around the mapsicle that is is over here i don't know why i said mapsicle i just had i just got done eating a popsicle i apologize but uh there's another starism for y'all <laughs> all my dumb things that i come up with saying man i gotta start patenting them or something along those lines and hello that's not what i like to see computer don't lag when the witch starts crying no 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 computer computer no computer no no computer bad <laughs> What's going on? My keys are messed up oh my god you are the worst computer don't do this to me oh my god well, at least we're going to be able to clear out, like, the entirety of this event because we literally have to. Otherwise, we die. But, oh, my God, dude. I know my... I, dude, I don't think it's a joke. I think my computer is legitimately conspiring against me. Like, my computer wants to see me die, and it is willing to literally do stuff like this. Stop right now. There we go. Oh my god, dude, it's like my computer will only lag when my life is at risk. This is actually the sketchiest thing ever. And why is my computer doing this, man? It makes a freaking avatar out here. I don't know if this is the last airbender, if this dude's from like that blue planet, whatever it is, not the blue planet, but the blue people, whatever it is. Dear God, oh, I appreciate the stuff. Why gotta be poking me with a stick like that, man? We could we could have went and got a could have shared an ale. I, I got some extras here, man. It's the same thing as popping a cold one with the boys or whatever it is nowadays, you know? We could have been on that level, but you didn't allow it to happen. You know what? I say okay, you do you, I'll do me. And my version of me will hopefully be avoiding that horrifying sounding witch. Computer, make a mental note. Please do not lag right now. But then we're gonna go. I just want to get me. What is this over here? Just the wolf? All right, we'll clear that out. But man, getting this horse done, I I just want it, dude. I've been so excited for it for so long. It's like the pinnacle of this update. Kind of like what everything culminates into. And the fact that we're so close to having it, it's an amazing thing, man. We built up that stable. We conquered the second floor of the dungeon. We tortured a danged person, man. Like, you think I can sleep at night after having to torture him? You know, like, you know what type of torture I did? I probably like poked him. You know, with like a stick, maybe it was sharp. I don't know, dude. Even like if I was getting poked with a stick for a couple hours, I'd get pretty annoyed pretty quickly. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll be 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 right back, damned knight. I got to go and uh, up and chuck a little bit. Because apparently that last tail was just a little bit too much. God dang it. All right, I'm going to throw up on you. God, oh, my God. This is the worst. And I'm going to solve my issues by drinking more of it. Morgana. God dang it. Dude, it's like everyone just wants to have you attack. And this is why I'm saying it's good to take this area slow. Because I believe after a certain amount of minutes, the enemies, at least from what I was hearing, should actually stop spawning. And so that will be good. Because if an enemy spawns in, kind of like this guy who's following us out of nowhere. And if we cancel our horse tame for any reason, I believe something similar happens where it does run away. Like we tragically saw in the last episode. 
So hopefully if we can take long enough, all those spawns will be gone and we won't have anything to interrupt us. We'll be walking home with that horsey. But if you guys are new here, make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of Grim Soul uploads that are going on. Not to mention all the other dope survival games that we are taking part in. And speaking of taking part in, dude, we're taking part in something dope like the freaking PUBG Mobile Official Star the Challenge. We're going to be doing the qualifiers tomorrow. Actually, make sure you all stay tuned. That's going to be being streamed over here on the YouTubes. God dang it, Bear, where you coming from? That's going to be getting streamed. Oh my God, he ripped my shirt off. What a savage. That's going to be being streamed here over on the YouTubes right around noon Pacific Standard Time, 2 p.m. Central Time, 3 p.m. Eastern. Same time on Sunday. It's two days of qualifiers. If we do good, we're going, dude, we're going to freaking LA as a team to compete for a 20,000. Where are all these people with pikes coming from? $20,000. God dang it, now I got to throw up to $20,000 grand prize dude that is absolute insanity i can't believe we got into that huge shouts out to pubg mobile for getting me invited to that man it's just it's just almost surreal and if we make it to that next stage oh my goodness gracious i'm gonna be trying my hardest i'm gonna be streaming my hardest and hopefully we're gonna be having a fan freaking fantastic time along the way but you know that'd be a dope vlog if we went to freaking la for an eat for a freaking pubg mobile I don't know where the letter E keeps coming from. PUBG Mobile official tournament like that in person. That'd be crazy. And then, uh, oh my God, where's this person coming from? Hold on, we need, we need some more heals. This is not the way. This is not the way. No, 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 no. All right, let's eat a little bit of food. Eat a ton of it because this guy's gonna, yeah, he's gonna be doing a good amount of damage, but we should be able to take him down pretty easily. Over there, uh, I do not have any spare clothes, however, and even my pantalones are about to disappear as well. So that's no bueno. Back to what I was saying though with PUBG Mobile real quick. What is it? I think like top three teams that place over at regionals, which would be in LA, which is kind of like what the qualifiers are for this weekend. Uh, if that happens, that is where I think like first place starts getting to the point where like first place is like 200,000 or something. Like it's a total prize pool of 600,000 throughout the entirety of it. So it's just insane that like first place would be getting such a good dude. I don't know, man. I just I just never thought we'd be at such a point. And it's just, it's just surreal. And just thank you guys, you know? No, it's it's unbelievable that we got over here as a community to this stage i'll be doing my best to represent the all of us man you know that i want to bring home that w for us so then everyone could be like hey i've been watching that star dude before he pooped all over the pubg dirty but uh hey let's not get too ahead of ourselves here all right i don't need to stress myself out with high standards all right though back to grim soul enough talky talky about that i'm so sorry for the off track man but that's just been on my mind i've been wa i want to talk about it to someone you know and what better people than y'all it's just it's just cr it's just exciting man if you guys saw my face right now dude how many things do they send at us this is insane but yeah if you guys saw my face right now man i'd just be cheesing speaking of that you guys will actually be seeing my face over on the streams i actually been using the face cam if you guys saw the first pubg mobile stream slash uh upload that one up afterwards you guys can see that we're using the whatchamacall the face cam that's the thing man if we uh if we do get into situations i just want to hopefully we have more time to stream coming up that's the biggest thing man. just a kind of a struggle with school so far but dude i don't know man face cams will definitely become a relatively regular occurrence on streams and if you get a stream schedule somehow like once or twice a week who knows could be some dope stuff man it could be some dope stuff but all right We've almost cleared out the entirety of this zone. I believe we have a witch over here and then some second enemy. Second enemy is a bear. I'm actually going to see if we could get the bear to come at us, bro, first. And then there we go. We should just be able to finish him off in a good old fashion. 1v1. And then hopefully, god dang it, get, yeah, there we go. Okay, at least, it, at least I was in the middle of looting the bear when my computer decided to melt down. My computer wanted to freaking lag while I was like going towards the witch. That would have been a nightmare. Speaking of nightmares, a couple of those dudes, if I left them alive... That witch, she probably would have lived. She would have yelled. I may have suffered some pain. Okie dokie, we got a dire wolf over here, and then the hunt for the horse begins. What is up, a dire wolf? No worries, just stabbing you up a little bit. Hope you don't mind. Listen, I'm using these pitchforks. It's amazing technology, so amazing. Every single person I've come across today has been utilizing it. If that's not amazing, I don't know what is. Ooh, that definitely was not. A rope and a cloth. Could have done better, leper. Could have done better. Or was that a damned? I think that was a damned. Hello, witch. Oh, scream. Well, good thing no one will hear you except me and all the snipe gang. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I had to subject you to such awful screams. But he's okie dokie. We're okay. And I'm actually going to make sure... Uh, okay, listen. Let's... let's. Okay, I'm trying to use as much time as we can in this zone so nothing runs at us. Because I do believe after a certain amount of time, they will stop running at us. I'm trying to just get everything we can out of the zone. Good stuff, baby. Good stuff. 
trying to get everything that we can, extract everything we can, and just make sure that the horse is the last thing that we do here. And then that way, like, we haven't seen an enemy in a while. If we don't see an enemy in a while, that might be a really good sign. And okay, I did loot that. I was just trying to make sure. All right. Might be time for us to uh, attempt to tame a horse. Is this the horse over here? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, it's the wild horsey. Oh, dude, I don't want to commence it. I'm scared. I'm, I, I have trauma from what happened last time. I kind of want to, like, wait and see if one more thing doesn't spawn in and attack us. Ah, uh, but I feel like the longer I wait, the more likely something is to spawn in and attack us. It's like a two-sided sword. And this is such high-pressure scenario. Come on, horsey. Come on, do we do it? Do we send it? All right, y'all better be crossing everything that you got. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your freaking eyeballs, dude. This is where we may walk home with the horse. I'm just looking at that map, ready to get shut down. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, we got a horse, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to, ooh, you know what we gotta do? In the comment section down below, drop what we should name our horse. For now, he out, I'll just add a Y to give him a custom name. His name will be Horsey so far. Ooh, he becomes fed. Look at that, dude. What a bargain deal. Let's go ahead. Let's saddle that thing. And oh me, oh my, let's start enjoying it. But let me know in that comment. Oh, there you guys can even see Horsey. We got his name up there. Oh my God, dude, we got his freaking name up there. We got the 80 oats that he is full on. Why don't we go ahead? We got to go home. I want to feed this lad. You guys can see that the oat system works exactly the same as energy. There's no conversion. One oat is the same as one energy. However, this guy is apparently ridiculously fast. Almost three times as fast as running. Oh my God, dude, look at this horse. Oh my God. It's like watching a NASCAR race, except with one car. So it's, I don't even know. It's not a race at that point, but it's, it's fast. That's the point I'm trying to get across. But you know what, dude, to celebrate something this momentous, this insane. Oh my God, what was that? Did anyone just see that body freak the bejesus out? Oh, look at that beauty, man. It's over here chilling at the stables too. I gotta get you fed, buddy, because oh my God, riding it around gives it EXP too. Dude. <laughs> That is insane. We already leveled him up just from riding him home. Oh my God. We got to try and get some more oats going for him. Let me know in that comment section down below what you would like a horsey over here in all of this marvelousness to be named. And then if you guys don't mind, go ahead, scroll through those comments a little bit and hit that like button on any comment that you guys like. So hopefully we can get a nice general community sense because I want this to be a name picked about as big of a portion of the Snipe Gang as possible. So please be a community, participate down below, drop a comment, drop a like on the comments that you enjoy. And I'll probably be choosing from some of the highest like comments and uh, adding a little bit of personal taste up in there. But all in all, man, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just excited. This is such a big moment. And I can't name my chopper in Last Day on Earth, you know? So this isn't a privilege I've had a lot. Although to be fair, I could like name her Bessie or something. That's a beautiful motorcycle name. Anyways, what we gotta go ahead and do, what was I saying? We gotta go ahead and get for some oats. Ah, okay, so here we go. Uh, we can actually do a little bit of a test over here and put a little bit of stuff away too. A little double whammy scenario, never hurt no one. Free up a little bit of inventory room. We're definitely gonna be riding this thing around to some events as well. I think the wandering merchants might be in town, so that might be a great excuse to get them. But all right, let's see. He is currently at 46 out of 100 on the feeding scale. We're going to be seeing a couple of pieces of info here that should be useful. So first off, we're going to see that's exactly how much EXP he has. He's like right below the second bar and he's at 46. Let's feed him. And he only goes to 51. So I don't know. I don't. I, I thought it said that in the devlog that feeding them would give him EXP. If it is, it looks like it might be relatively minuscule. You know what it probably is, though? It's because feeding them gives them the energy to run around. And then running around with them is what levels it up. So we're going to be testing out that level up a little bit here and trying. I think there's the wandering merchants, like I was saying. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, organize the inventory a little bit, and talk to y'all in a sec. And there we have it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I know we might still be a little bit more naked than we might like, but hopefully throughout uh, some of the killing and looting that we're about to do that will change and i was able to find our other stockpile of some oats meaning we should be able to feed this horsey quite a little bit and now you guys can see even when we do feed it a lot of food nothing about that exp bar is changing but the feeding bar is changing and this is where the leveling up should be able to occur so we're gonna be doing a double whammy now anytime that we adventure anywhere not only 
are we actually going over somewhere and having some fun and doing our own thing but our horse is progressively getting stronger and as he gets stronger he gets closer to being able to cross this river you guys see it needs a hardy horse currently our horse is skinny there's two other adjectives slash tears after skinny before he gets a hardy and then like i was saying once he becomes a war horse we can actually take him within locations both those features are coming soon to grim soul but dude oh my god we have one of the huge steps in getting across this entire river and going to that new location area when it spawns in. But for now, that's the broken cart. Oh, no. Did the dealers disappear? I suppose so. All right. Well, you know what? Why don't we take this opportunity and head on over to a little bit of the marvelous pine forest. And I am running over here. God dang it. Well, all right. It's all right. It's a double whammy. We had a little bit of energy. We'll go into here. Hopefully, we'll grab a couple things and then uh, maybe take our horse anywhere. But I want to see the animation of our horse riding in and checking this place out as well. Mainly, I'm just going to try to bum rush some of the chests over here and try to hopefully... Uh... Oh, never mind. Where's our horsey? I definitely took my horsey with. Apparently, it is not like last day on earth. Oh my god, game, don't do this, not now. It's not like last day on Earth, unless like maybe that's just a glitch or something, but it does appear that you don't actually ride in on your horse. Maybe that'll change when we actually go and use it as, uh, what should I call it? with the horse function. What do I mean by that? I mean, like, actually, god dang it, I've been stripped naked. Uh, but I mean, like, utilize it in the way that uh, we actually like, use the horse's fuel quote-unquote fuel although it's really his belly although i guess technically his belly is kind of his fuel source who knows i don't know the semantics behind it i just know that it is and i know that this thing is about to break so why don't we go ahead and swap over to something a little extra especially now that we are uh, butt naked and don't get me wrong a butt naked man is capable of a lot of things all right never underestimate someone who's naked all right because that means they probably like cray cray you know see him running across the street something something's going on that's the long story short but Here's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that, listen, you see you see a naked man with, like, a stick. You know, like, the first thing you could craft out here, right? Oh, you're not going to take that seriously. You're going to be like, oh, just the usual naked guy. You see a naked man. You see a naked man with, like, a halberd or something or a heavy crossbow? That's being taken a little bit more seriously. All right? But anyways, with that random life lesson accounted for. Mr. Wolf, hello. Goodbye. God dang it, Mr. Wolf had a buddy. Oh, he has some powerful buddies. Yes, he did. Luckily, I have a powerful buddy known as Metabolism. And it's actually what's healing me exactly right now because, uh, well, I eat food and I heal. I would call that Metabolism if you ask me. Now, let's eat a ton of food and prepare. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Being naked is a little bit harder than I thought. Uh, all right, boys. So the good news is we did have a little bit of armor. It's not the greatest armor in the world, but we did have some of this chill in our in, uh, chilling in our in box. Oh my my, that is a lot of ins chilling in my in box. Oh my goodness, dude, that's like, I, that's a tongue twister, but specifically for the word in. So we got that popping. We still have our horse available to us. So that's good, even though we don't see him riding in. He is still available. Let's hope that we don't die as soon as he spawn in. Okay, no. But this damn knight is all up on our grill. So we don't have the best armor in the world, but that's all right. I don't think we necessarily need the greatest of all armor. But now there's a bear. No, 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 no. Bear, why you do this? My 1v1 was going so well. We were fighting on honorable. And you do this to me? Mr. Bale? Uh, bale? What is he, like a bucket of bale? Or a bale? Isn't like a bale a bucket? Isn't that like another word for it? Or for bale an amount of jail. Bars. I know. But all right, damn night. Let's get you out of there. Let's get that marvelousness up into my inbox. But yeah, dude, me and that night were having a great 1v1 and then a freaking bear decides to be like, Hey, I want to take part. And I'm like, no, please don't take part, Mr. Bear. No, 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 no. Not today. All right, you know who's taking part today? God dang it, a dire wolf, apparently. I wanted to sneak attack that leper. Why you do this game? Why you do this? Will I never be able to sneak attack again? Honestly, hey, here's the thing. Can't complain. We did tame a horse today, and the game didn't send a wolf to kill us as our tame was finishing, which is exactly what I was looking out for, man. So shouts out to that. And as you guys saw, hopefully that's a solid strategy for you guys because I've known a lot of people that were struggling to get that horse tamed even once they did have the stable built because just awful things would happen like that. Clearing out the entirety of the zone is one of the best, if not the best thing you can do along with like taking a good amount of time, chilling. And then it just seems like as time goes on or as the area is cleared one of the two it seemed like the enemies didn't really spawn in so definitely a little little thing to capitalize upon all right now hopefully i'll be able to capitalize upon all right there there are a couple of schmucks don't attack the deer there are why is the deer the first thing that you think to attack my man 
my guy. Oh, please don't wander too close to that guy. Why do you attack the deer first? There is a battalion of angry things. Oh my God, a battalion plus one of angry things. And your first thought is to kill the deer when things hit the fan. I got, I got to like, I got to travel back in time. I got to inject some extra brain cells into this guy's head, man, because uh, I don't know. We need that IQ to go up, baby. We need that IQ higher because he is not making power moves at the moment. All right. Damn night. What we got popping off the here? A little backstab. All right. I think the backstab is the move. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Apparently, the dire wolf wants to get in. Okay. Apparently, the wolf wants to get in on the move, too. Hey, listen. Ah, me voice. <laughs> listen up, though. It's good. We're getting EXP at the end of the day. There's there's worse things that could happen. Uh, we have all also almost entirely run out of heals. Uh, let's take that into account. Let's quickly run on over to the corner. Then let's... We got nada. Yeah, 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 yeah. Might call it a zone at that then. I think I've gotten... Oh, no, dude. We were so close to getting those chests, though. I just I just don't have a method of healing right now. Um, I have an idea. Bless up, dude. Still got some leaks. This might be getting desperate, but I will happily go into my leak supply if it means that I can live on, even though it might make my wallet cry a little bit because as that inbox empties, my wallet's probably like, oh, no. Star's gonna use me again. Chill, 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 chill. We still got leaks. We still got some items, man. Although I'm not sure how many of those items are actually good. I think a solid amount of them are like daggers and sickles. Listen. It's not the most threatening weapon in the world. Leaks, not the most threatening heals in the world. But I'm gonna take what I can get. Unfortunately, I believe that if you eat... Oh, never mind. So, okay, if you eat outside the zone... I guess I was thinking of a different game. There's a different mobile survival game where if you eat, but you're not in a zone, you actually won't heal over time. So that's good to know that we do heal over time. How much is it gonna heal? 15. So we wanna eat one, two, three more. Get us all the way up to a hundo. We should be good. We still got a pretty solid sword. We could use the crossbow if we want. I just like to have the crossbow steady. I guess I'm a little a little traumatized from all those blowy uppy dudes from the second floor of the dungeon. Nah, but the crossbow isn't super necessary or nothing. You know, it's necessary. Killing this dude over here. What's up, my guy? Where you at? Oh, he ain't chasing me no more. Oh, is he? Uh, I don't know if I trust that. But at least I know the path to victory. I'm gonna try to follow that path for real. Where did this guy go? I'm legitimately bamboozled right now. God dang, girl. All right, let's try to make our Wii a ruined right here. This is the path that we took. There are those beautiful chests. Here's a question, though. What awfully timed event? Oh, there we go. There's the damn knife. That's the awfully timed event. As soon as I start talking about an awfully timed event, that guy decides to start attacking us again. Luckily, we came out fine out of the scenario. We're going to want to eat about two leaks over there to bring us back up to full. Are you going to throw a wolf at me now, game? Is that what's happening over here? I swear. That's what's happening. I'm not going to be a happy camper. All right. I am a moderately appeased camper. All right. It's, I'll, I'll give you some brownie points where they deserve. Not all the brownie points. Only partial brownie points. Now I want a brownie. God dang it, dude. Why do I have so many food metaphors? It's too high. It's too dang high. Uh, speaking of... Oh my god, I knew something horrible was gonna happen. And of course it comes in the form of a hell hawk over here. And he run away. Like little baby. Yeah, that's right. Run, you hawk. Freaking skirt. I see you running in fear. All right, so we got these two chests. There's like another chest. Ooh. Well, what type of enemies are these? We have a damned. We have a knight. Uh, do we, I think we have enough leaks to get to that last chest. And then we're going to go travel on horse by somewhere and try to level up our horse. If we can even get that to like level three, that'd be super dope. All we got to do is not run too far away. I don't want to accidentally aggro even more people. Let's start eating these leaks to keep us alive, dude. I never thought vegetables would become my lifeblood. Yet here we are. And uh, the leaks a vegetable, right? I think so, man. Aren't fruit usually sweet? I don't know about a leak, man. It doesn't look sugary or nothing. Looks relatively healthy, even by the looks of it, man. That's a, that's a marvelous shade of green. Talk about healthy. That right there is your model vegetable. I'm probably, I don't know. I don't, is the leak actually healthy? I don't know. I'm not a leakologist. I'm just saying, in terms of looks, it looks healthy. And that, that counts for something. All right, you know what else looks healthy? Well, not, maybe not looks healthy. But you know what else looks delicious? 
some of them some of that pizza that I got left over in the freezer I think that might be how we solve our uh, our little hunger problem here pretty soon oh man dude today's just been such a busy day I've had so much work I had to get done I had to go work with my group and whatnot struggle through the weekly stuff and all right where do we want to head to next we could try to say I, you know what we do I got I got an idea why can I not ride hello okay so hello Um, yeah guys, so I even like went back, I looked through the footage, I was like 99% sure that we took the horse with us, and uh, we did, but apparently we, we can't actually ride it. I think you literally have to like ride as an option from your base somewhere to be able to ride back in the first place. That is interesting, dude. I never knew that. Well, I suppose we got to go ahead and drop a little bit of coinage here. Make our wallet shed a couple of couple of lone tears here and there and make our way back. And I mean, now we have energy, so that solves that problem. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to, instead of what we currently got going on, we're going to go and pay the gatekeeper a little bit of a visit too. Always good to be stockpiling those keys for future dungeon runs, especially then because if we have keys stockpiled, instead of having to go kill the gatekeeper, we're just like, hey, look, a key. And we don't have to wait for the fact that the gatekeeper takes like a day to respawn and the dungeon respawns every what? eight hours so it'll make it a little bit easier to capitalize upon but yeah no i distinctly remember we went up to this horse not just remember i literally looked back in the footage so for once it's not my goldfish memory kicking in but we went over here we hit saddle and i think you literally have to ride the horse you have to use the horse's fuel if you want it to accompany you somewhere which i guess makes sense because like i mean the horse still has to get over there you know even if you're not necessarily riding it like to ride your horse back your horse would still need to be there in the first place and to be there it'd have to t like it'd have to gallop there or whatever so i don't know it's definitely interesting but uh i'm gonna go ahead and get my inventory prepped and we're gonna go and try to take down the gatekeeper and here we are boys and girls ladies and gentlemen ready to go ahead and take this challenge on so we got ourselves a little bit of leaks over here and some bandages as well for healing purposes uh and we do have the falchion although that's not what we're gonna be using we are going to be utilizing the halberd to take down not just the gatekeeper but also his little minions that do run at us that's another thing that we are taking into account for uh so without further ado our guys looking a little bit shook but the time approaches let us take horsey let's saddle up and this time we are going to ride over there i want to see just how much our horse does level up remember we were just below i believe it is two portions of the bar so for using 12 food let's see where it takes us and oh my god dude that's some freaking Mach 5 speeds, man. Next level, but it should be taking us here. Let's see if there's actually an animation of us riding into this land on the horse or if we just appear. Oh, dude, check it out. We actually dismount our horse. Hot diggity dog. Ain't that dope. All right, but now we got the gatekeeper over here. This big old, big old boy. And luckily for us, we should be able to literally just stay out of his range. All we got to do is focus on uh, stabbing him. Pretty straightforward. I know we want him to actually go ahead and rack at these things. We want to destroy the plague of wolves as well. They usually come pretty weakened though, which is pretty nice. Luckily, we got some heals here and there to be utilizing. We're trying to also kite this guy into these things so we get that nice double whammy boost over on damage since this guy is taking them from the spikes and from a very long and stabby stick. And our stabby stick does a number. See you later, gatekeeping alligator. Give me all them goods. And you, my hut, I approach you. We're getting closer and closer to being able to break into that puppy with a little bit of help. Uh, we don't need the powder keg quite yet. What we are going to be needing is just going to be a powder charge to get in. Five black powder. And the black powder is going to be requiring salt, beet thunder, and sulfur. And given all these things, a raid of the gatekeeper's hut may be coming into a Stash Knife video near you very, very soon. But hokey dokey horsey with that amount of riding. Okay, so it appears at least for level two, what were we at? Like we were at right around there. We used 12 energy. We get up there. That's a little bit over two of these bars. I'd say maybe each of these bars is like five oats slash five energy for a horse now see i don't know if this actually necessarily scales like if like as it levels up it takes more exp i could definitely see that happening as well but uh, that does appear to be at least how it works over here for our skinny level two horsey but with that said with that done, we just got a whole ton of dope stuff to be checking out of grim so we're gonna be leveling up our horse where he's still we gotta get that grindstone up and functioning
team. Got to go ahead and break into this puppy. A whole ton of jazz we got to do. Not to mention chase after some of the very best weapons that Grim Soul has to offer over in the new floors of the Forsaken Dungeon. But with that said, with that done, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode of Grim Soul Survival. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Huh? This was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.